My name is Alex Palomero. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Google Analytics campaign tagging tool. I referenced this in a seminar or presentation that I co-presented with Kara Manahan from Marketo at Marketo's Nation Summit 2014. That was in April. Uh, the seminar that we did was called Leverage Marketo Social to Generate Leads and Recruit Top Talent. The idea here is we're going to show you how to track URLs in both Google Analytics and sync that up with Marketo, make everything organized, and you can see the success of your campaigns. So go ahead and open your Google account. You do need a Google account to make this work. Open another tab with Google Drive. Google Drive is located right here. And then open your Bitly account. If you don't have Bitly, no big deal. Uh, if you do have Bitly, open a tab, uh, log in, and you'll be able to pull this in Bitly account information into the Google URL shortener. This application that we're going to show you how to use syncs up with Bitly and it syncs up with Google's URL shortener. If you use some sort of branded or other sort of uh, shortener, then to my knowledge it doesn't sync up um, out of the box with those. But you can mess around with it. Once you're here, click on Google or search for Google Analytics campaign tagging tool. Here's what you got. Go ahead and click use this template. What it's going to do is create a copy of this template in your my drive or your Google Drive. So I'll show you an example and there it is Google Analytics campaign tagging tool. Just real quick I want to say kudos to Eduardo who built this template. Um, we've had a lot of success with this template. It has great ratings on the app exchange. However whenever you use some sort of application online or you're borrowing somebody else's code you use it at your own risk. Your personal risk, your company's risk, and our IT team was able to say, yeah, we're comfortable using this. Uh, there's low risk, uh, but there's still risk. So keep that in mind. If you go to your copy of Google Analytics campaign tagging tool, I'm going to show you two different tabs. The first one has a bunch of instructions, great content here. And then the second one is your link tag generator. Before you go to the link tag generator, scroll up to the top to your GA tag builder and click preferences. You need to authorize the application if you want to automatically shorten URLs. So you click OK. You have to accept the permissions. You click accept. And what happens? Nothing, which is a bit confusing if you're doing this on your own. What you need to do is go back to GA Tag Builder, click on Preferences. OK, and up pops this, um, you know, this box. Basically, what it's asking you to do is do you want to link up with Bitly or Google's URL shorteners? And there's a couple other things that you can do here. What we set up was we want to replace spaces for underscores. Um, we want to keep all variables lowercase. The reason that we force lowercase is that in Google Analytics, it's case sensitive. So for consistency purposes, I want to make sure that uh, I don't create the same links using uppercase and lowercase or some variation of those. Then I choose Bitly. You can also choose Google from this list, but we choose Bitly. And it asks you for your Bitly username and your Bitly API key. Click on where is it, and it'll show you basically what your username and API key are. Okay, once you've set your Bitly preferences, you go back to the instructions tab, and I've just zoomed in for you so you can see it a little bit better. And I'll show you a real life example of our link tag generator. What we do is we're driving traffic to say, uh, Lewis Apartments careers. What we're trying to do is recruit top talent. We talk about that at the Marketo Summit. We have a campaign name. We use Lewis Careers. We have different traffic sources. Uh, Craigslist, Career Builder, Twitter, Facebook, etc. I want to show you how these work. We like to differentiate medium between internet and social. Obviously social is part of the internet. Um, this is just helps us organize things. You can use whatever you want. The key here is to be consistent. This is how we move forward with, uh, I'm not going to show you how to do a keyword in this case, but most of you guys get the, get the idea of what, what's going on there. Ad content becomes very important for us because we link ad content to our Marketo system. We actually are looking for that URL within Marketo. And the way we do it is real simple. We have paid, P stands for paid, O stands for organic or free, SO is social organic and SP is social paid. So uh, 
paid career builder careers. That tells me what ad content it is. I could be more specific. I could say it's a specific post that I did. And sometimes we do that and sometimes we don't. In this case, it's a little bit more generic. We're saying that, for example, here, this is a social organic Twitter careers post. So something that we posted for free to Twitter. What it does is automatically create a tagged URL, which is your long URL. And so this is your long version of the URL. If you click on it, it'll show you how long it is. I'll pause this for a moment and I'll spread it out. Okay, here you get the you get the gist, right? What this is is tracked in Google Analytics. Now, right next to it is a minify. It says minify URL. Yours is going to be blank. What you need to do is go up to the GA tag builder and click minify all tagged URLs. And what will happen is one by one these will all pop up. So what it's done is it's linked here. I, I shorten the URL and it creates that shortened URL with a description in Bitly. So I've tracked it in Bitly, I've tracked it in Google Analytics, and I'm able to track it in Marketo. Uh, the key here is if you want to go back and, and change this wording, you could go back to Bitly and, and call it something customized if you want. I'm going to pause the video and show you what's next. Okay, I was thinking of what's next and not a whole lot. You've got notes where you could talk about more specifically what is this link, what is this campaign, etc. for your reference. Um, the nice thing about Google Drive is you can also share this with people within your organization um, if you want. So that's how you use the Google Analytics campaign tagging tool and what we'll do is show you how we can look for these URLs, these tagged URLs within the Marketo system.